Welcome back, Marvel Sports fans. We are back. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm glad to be here for this World Cup predictions video. In this video, we will be predicting which countries will make it to the semifinals for the World Cup. As we take a look at all the countries and uh, republics, which have countries that haven't yet been seeded to this far in the competition. We'll to see as uh, the football league goes on, which marbles will fill in these spots. We see lots of different countries here. We'll have to see which ones move on to the semifinals. And then from those spots, they will have two more spots to the final two spots in the World Cup. Here you can see where each marble will place if they get first or second in their group. And now it is time for Group A, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. And we're off, and it is Senegal off to the lead, being followed by uh, the Netherlands who take first place through this first funnel. And now it is Ecuador in the lead, already getting to the first slalom section before any of the other marbles have even left the funnels. Ecuador has a huge lead at this point, and it is Senegal coming in at second. The Netherlands falling down all the way to third, and Qatar is down in fourth. Qatar had a good showing in the uh, friendly soccer tournament we had a couple videos ago. And Ecuador is already making it up these stairs, and Senegal is just now getting into the funnel after the first green slalom. Netherlands now making it up the stairs. Senegal trying to come up and catch up to them. And Ecuador is trying to get out of that blue funnel. Let's see. And they do right there. Coming into, into this next larger slalom section. And now it is Senegal in this next blue funnel. And at the end of this slalom section, Ecuador will be the champion of this race. And they will. They will advance to the semifinals. And it looking like the Netherlands will advance as well, unless somehow Senegal is able to come up and pass them. And here go the Netherlands. One more pass, and they advance as well. Senegal and Qatar will be eliminated and will not make it to the semifinal round of the World Cup. You can see Qatar still moseying around. They uh, definitely are very far behind in this race. Now they're finally finished. So Ecuador and the Netherlands will advance to the semifinals. See, Ecuador will go on the square A1, and they will go against B2, which is the second marble who will finish in the group B. And then the Netherlands will go to A2, and they'll go against the first marble who finished in group B. Now it is time for Group B, England, Iran, the U.S., and the UEFA marble, which can be Wales, Scotland, or Ukraine, but they have not advanced that far, so we'll have to see uh, which marble this will be in the future. And we're off through the Plinko, and it is the UEFA, who was in the lead, but now they're falling down into third place, and it's the U.S. who is in the lead, being followed by England and Iran, who is in last place. The UEFA is coming up though, but England is the one who is the second marble to get into the slalom after the US. The US is having an early lead in this race. They're gonna be the first one to get into the tan funnel. And now the UEFA and England as well as Iran are all fighting, call, all get into the funnel at the same time. And it is Iran who comes out first, the UEFA comes in at second and US is in third. England is lagging behind. They haven't even gotten into the stairs yet. Now they have as well as the U.S. who comes out into the blue funnel first, then is the UEFA. And there's a hard hit from Iran. And now they're all four in the blue funnel. Who comes out first? It's Iran. Iran will get into the green slalom first, then it is England. Looks like these two marbles will be advancing unless somehow the U.S. or the UEFA are able to come out and they aren't looking like they're gonna be able to. Iran and England are the top two marbles in this race. The UEFA and the U.S will not make it to the semifinal round. So Iran will be advancing to the semifinal round. They'll be going against the marble who got second in the first round, which was Netherlands.
and England will be going against the first marble that made it in Group A, which was Ecuador. And now it is time for Group C, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. And the race is about to start. And we're off to the Plinko. Who comes out first? It is Argentina being followed by Saudi Arabia. And Argentina is the first one into the second funnel. And then Mexico comes in as well. Saudi Arabia is in third. And Argentina now comes up and is in second place. Trying to get into that hole, but they aren't able to. And it is Poland who is off to the early lead. Saudi Arabia coming up close behind. Trying to come up and take the lead right there. They are able to. Poland is stuck on the track. And they are passed by Mexico. Who then comes and passes Saudi Arabia into that tan funnel. Let's see who comes out first. It is Mexico. But they missed the stair quite a couple number of times. They lost a lot of time not being able to enter that stair uh, very efficiently. And so now they are neck and neck with Saudi Arabia. Poland is coming up in third. Argentina is still pretty far behind. They're at the bottom of the stairs. And now Mexico and Saudi Arabia are fighting in the blue funnel. And it is Saudi Arabia who comes out first. Will Poland be able to come in past Mexico? No, they won't. Mexico will come out first. Let's see who comes out in this slalom. Saudi, Saudi Arabia is looking like they're going to get first place. And they do. Mexico comes up and gets second. Poland tries to come up and steal it, but they aren't able to. Argentina will come up in last. So Saudi Arabia and Mexico will advance to the semifinals in the World Cup. Argentina slowly making their way down to the end of the course and now they're finished uh, Definitely not a very good performance for Argentina in today's race So Saudi Arabia will advance to the next round going in the C1 position and they'll be going off against the D2 position Which is the second marble to finish in the group D and Mexico will be going against the marble who finishes first in group D and they are in this C2 square. And now it is time for Group D. France, Denmark, Tunisia, and another marble that has not yet gotten this far in the competition. That marble can be Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia. And Tunisia has a good early lead getting into the final funnel already, being followed closely by Denmark. And then the last two marbles are still up in the last funnel. Tunisia is already Almost through the green slalom before any of the other marbles even leave this last orange funnel. They are already in the tan funnel. France having a hard time getting out of this last funnel as Tunisia is battling with this unseated country so far. And they are able to come up and take first place from Denmark as they're going up the stairs. They have already exited the stairs and into this next uh, orange funnel. And they are facing some pressure from this Marble who can be Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia. Tunisia trying to come up and catch back up to Denmark, who is slowly getting out of the blue funnel. Who will come out first? It is the unseated marble. All these other marbles are still in the blue funnel. France coming up, and they take second place through the blue funnel. A great move by France. And it's looking like one of the countries that represent this marble will be first place. And France is looking like they're going to come in and take second. Yes, they will. A great comeback by France. They will advance to the semifinals. And Tunisia and Denmark will be eliminated. So whatever country comes out on top, Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia, will be advanced to D1 going against Mexico. And France will be going against Saudi Arabia. So France will be in the D2 square, and then the other country will be in the D1 square. And now it's time for Group E, Spain, another country that has not yet been decided, Germany, and Japan. The unnamed country can either be Costa Rica or New Zealand, We'll have to see as the uh, games goes on. And now the race is about to start. 
and we are off and it is Germany who comes off to the lead but it is Japan who comes out to an early lead going all the way to the third funnel before the other marbles even get barely to the second funnel and it's the unnamed country coming in at second Germany comes in at third oh and they almost get stuck wedged in the hole Germany and Spain and it is Japan who is still in the lead Germany comes out on top over Spain in that last funnel and now they come up and take second place and a whole bunch of changes there who comes out on top it is Japan Germany is next and the other two marbles are still in the funnel the unnamed country comes up and takes second or third place Spain is still in fourth Germany has now taken first place first one to enter the blue funnel hard hit from Japan losing some speed but then Germany comes and takes it back Germany is the first one into the large green slalom the other three marbles are tied up in the blue funnel. Germany having a tremendous lead at this point. They will definitely be advancing. The unnamed country comes in at second being followed closely by Japan and Spain. Who do come and overtake them. Japan comes up Spain and it is Japan. Japan will be advancing as well. Spain and the unnamed country which is either Costa Rica or New Zealand will be eliminated. And they will not make it to the semifinals for the World Cup. So it is Germany who will advance to this next square, which will be the E1 square. And then it will be Japan who will advance to the E2 square. And these two marbles will be going against two marbles that finish in the F group, which is coming up next. And now it is time for Group F. Belgium, Canada, Morocco and Croatia and the race is about to start yet again and we're off and who comes out first it is Morocco but now, now it is Belgium in the lead being followed by Croatia who takes first place they're the first one to get to the final orange funnel but Croatia Coming up in second, they're fighting in that final funnel as well as for Morocco. And it is Belgium off in the lead. Morocco coming in at second. Canada is in third. And Croatia has fallen all the way down to last place. Morocco and Belgium fighting in this tan funnel. Who will come out on top. It is Belgium who's the first one to enter these stairs. Canada entering the tan funnel right as Morocco is exiting. They are doing as best as they can but they still are pretty far behind as Belgium is still in the lead into the blue funnel first. Morocco coming in at third now because Canada has now taken second place and first place from a bump from Morocco. What a crazy turn of events. Canada has now taken first place and they are in the lead by a lot. Belgium coming in at second and Croatia comes up and takes second place. Canada will be advancing. They get first place. Will Croatia be able to come up and take first or second place and have an ultimate comeback no they won't all the three marbles finish all at the same time and it is Belgium who will be advancing along with Canada Croatia and Morocco will be eliminated so Canada will be advancing and they'll be going against Japan who got second in the group E and then Belgium will be going against Germany who got first place in group E two flags that are similar colored but they're just in different order and orientation that's very interesting Germany and Belgium now it's time for group G Brazil Serbia Switzerland and Cameroon let's see which marbles come out on top in this group and we're off to who comes out to the lead first. It is Cameroon, but Brazil comes and takes the early lead. All three other marbles are still in the funnel, but two of them exit now, and it is Switzerland and Cameroon. But Brazil is still in the lead. Cameroon coming up close behind, trying to come up and take first place. What is that there? Switzerland, a bump to Brazil, and they take first place. But Brazil takes it right back in the slalom. And Serbia is coming up in third place. Brazil gets into the tan funnel first. 
And now it is Switzerland who comes up and takes first place through that tan funnel up the stairs. They're already two-thirds up the stairs before Brazil even enters the beginning of it. And then it is Serbia and Cameroon lagging behind. Brazil trying to come up and take first place from Switzerland, who has already entered the blue funnel. A hard hit from Brazil. Let's see who comes out on top. Cameroon trying to come up and join the fight as well. See if they can. No, they can't because Brazil already leaves the funnel. Cameroon is bumping Switzerland around and they are able to take second place. Brazil, though, is going to be the champion of this race. They will definitely advance. Cameroon coming in. It will probably get second unless somehow Switzerland is able to come up and take it. But they won't be able to. Cameroon will be advancing with Brazil. And that will eliminate Switzerland and Serbia. At least Serbia isn't super far behind in this race compared to some of the competitors in previous races. So Brazil will be advancing to the semifinals. And they will be going in the G1 square. And they will be going against the H2 square. Which is the second marble who will finish in the H group. And then Cameroon come up into the G square and they will be going against the first marble who finishes in the H group which is about to start. And for group H we have Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and the Korean Republic. So this is the final group fighting for the final two spots in the semifinals for the World Cup. Who will come out on top? We'll have to see right now. And as Portugal comes out to the early lead in the finals, let's see who can exit the final first. It is Ghana. And then Portugal. And then uh, the Korean Republic. And the Korean Republic is the first marble to exit the second final and the third final. And they are in the early lead. And Ghana is coming up close behind. And they take first place. But then it is Korea Republic who takes it right back. They are fighting in this slalom. And they are stuck. Both of the marbles are stuck. They'll have to wait for Uruguay to come up and dislodge them. And it is Korea Republic who comes out first. But Ghana takes the lead through the funnel. And then it is Portugal. Portugal was all the way back up in last place at the beginning of the race. Now they're up in second. And the Korean Republic has fallen down the last. Ghana is already up in the blue funnel being pressured by Uruguay and now Portugal and now all four of the marbles are in the blue funnel let's see who can come out on top it's looking like Portugal coming around but it is Uruguay who comes out first then Portugal then Korean Republic and Ghana Portugal a little bit farther ahead than Uruguay and Uruguay is being pressured by the Re Korean Republic who takes first place Uruguay takes second Portugal has been eliminated as well as for Ghana, an amazing performance by the Korean Republic, getting first place right at the last second. An amazing performance. Korea will be going against uh, Cameroon in the final semifinal of this video and of the World Cup. And Uruguay will be going against Brazil. So there you have it. There are our predictions for the semifinals for the World Cup. These are the countries that will be participating in the semifinal. We'll have to see how accurate they are to the real thing. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below your predictions for who will win the World Cup. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. And until next time, this has been Fubeka's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone.